Rapid City woman Judy Donahue has fought many battles throughout her life. I'm dyslexic, I'm ADD, and I've had a stroke. It's like, what am I doing writing a book? To an outsider looking in, it may seem like life handed her some bad cards. But Judy sees her struggles as experiences that have brought her unexpected blessings. Our blessings are different, and everybody has a story. I can't believe the people that have said to me, I wish I could write. I said, write it. Write a story. If you have a story to tell, write it. Because my dad died with a ton of regrets. And I said, I don't want, I don't regret it. And if I wouldn't have finished this, I would have regretted it. In Judy's book, My Blessings Are Different, she talks about some of the struggles in her life. At 11 years old, Judy lost her mom. At age 14, Judy battled thyroid cancer. In her 20s, she worked tirelessly for a retail company. Then she lost her dad at 28, then her grandmother the next year. She had an emotional breakdown. She went to counseling and made some major life changes. Her family moved to Rapid City. She started a daycare, and she and her husband began doing foster care. Then another hard blow. Judy went to the doctor for throbbing in her ear, which turned out to be a rare inner ear tumor. Numerous surgeries later, due to medical reasons, Judy suffered a stroke. But through it all, Judy decided to shine a light on the positive. That um, my blessings are different. I mean, I've been dealt a hand that not a lot of people are dealt. But everyone I've met through my mishaps, I don't know what you want to call it, all of my health things, Everybody has touched my life in a different way, and I am so blessed by meeting these people, nurses and doctors. If, if you are a Debbie Downer and get on your pity pot, and if you look at it positively, yeah, I, I guess I, I, my dad, on his deathbed, my dad called me and he, I went and sat on his bed, and he said, honey, I just need your positive attitude right now. You are always so positive. And I, I guess I just grew up that way. And I, I, I don't look at it any differently than blessings. We're, we're so blessed and God has given us so much and so much to be thankful for. After her stroke, Judy realized there was no support for stroke survivors. And so she decided to start her own around 20 years ago and has recently turned her leadership reins over to other members. And I, I figure if I, if we touch one person a meeting, we've done our job with that, with the stroke support group. And, and I feel like we pretty much have done that. Judy's tumor is still there, but surgery is not an option. However, cutting edge technology has kept her tumor at bay. As challenges come and go, Judy wanted her story to matter to someone who needed the inspiration. And she told her aunt she would indeed write a book someday. And she's in, she was in her 80s, and she was the closest thing to a mom that I had known since I was 11 years old. And she was with us through all of my surgeries. And her parting words to me were, Jude, you need to write a book. Mm -hmm. And my parting words to her was, I promise I will, Aunt Morris. So Judy took a memoir class and sought out some professional help in the industry. And three years later, produced a book. My cover is what I, um, I grew up with. Um, we lived on the east side of town. And my dad would always see the sunrise. And he would wake us up at 5.30 in the morning. Kids, kids, Jude, Jude, you gotta come down and see this beautiful sunrise. So we'd peel our eyes and, and this was my back, this was this side of my yard. Horses and a barn and lilac bushes. And uh, my two goals um, for my book were give all the glory to God because when Satan was driving my bus, it was in the ditch. Um, and if I make a, a difference in one person's life, my book has done its job. 
Judy lives life to the fullest with her husband, kids, and grandkids. You can get her book locally at Boyd's or online at Amazon. I, I hope that people see good in their lives, not my life, but in their lives, through my book.